How do you feel about Fairfield University's decision to no longer require SAT scores and instead they plan on implementing an additional essay for students who don't want to submit their SAT scores? Like, I just found out, uh, um, I got an email saying that they're turned optional now. Uh -huh. Like, uh, I, I find it kind of unfair because, like, we had to take the SATs. Right. Uh -huh. And, like, it, it was, like, based That's on how you got it. Yeah, yeah, you got it. And now people don't have to do it, so right. it's kind of like... I you think it's a great decision because I think the SATs are not really a very good measure of how good it does well um, in school. And I think that the additional essay really gives students an opportunity to highlight their assets and what they can get to university. I kind of feel like maybe it's a good chance for those who are just bad at taking tests. Okay, I did hear about that. That is bull because yeah. I had to do the SAT, exactly. which is annoying as hell. I think it's a good decision. Yeah. Like, I know I sweated the SATs for like forever because right. I was so worried about it. Right. But if, if you're giving them an extra chance, you know, to, to write an essay instead of take a test, that might be better for them. They might actually get in and, and it'll change their decision from not getting in. Mm -hmm. if they, and they feel like they should be here, you might be kicking somebody out that Definitely. should be here. Yeah, That absolutely. could make a difference here. Well, I, I think the main thing is uh, it's, the SAT has always been the measuring standard of students coming to university or right. college. Uh -huh. And I... I I'm not a big fan of it. I understand where they're coming from because it allows them to choose a more diverse group of students. Right. But on the other hand, there's there's really no one standard because you've got different schools that have all types of weighted GPAs and there's really no one leveling measuring stick. Right. I agree, but I think it also has its like cons too because yeah. it, it's hard to compare high schools. Like, and SATs are like a very like standard. Uh -huh. Another thing isn't like by making it optional, like it makes the school look like they they need more people. Like, uh huh. I don't know, it's just, like, we put hard work, and now to find out that they, you don't have to do the SAT anymore, anybody, could, basically, almost anybody could get in, it's like, kind of... Lowering their standards. Yeah. Lots of people complain about SATs and how they don't reflect their actual abilities. I think the SAT <laughs> scores do show a little bit about yeah. what you can do. Same with ACT scores, and I, I think I think they're important to the college process. Do you think this is fair? Just changing not this? Not, not at all? Not at all. Yeah, I think that's fair. No, I think they can do what they yeah, want to do if they, they feel like that's best. Do. I don't personally agree with it. But. Yeah. Uh, in some respects, it is fair. I think generally to a lot of the students on campus as of now, they feel uh -huh. it's unfair. Okay. I think for the long run, it, it might help the university. If you guys were applying again, what would you do? The essay or the SAT scores? I'd do the essay. I'd use my SAT scores. I would do the essay. Probably the SAT. Probably SAT, SAT, probably SAT, SAT. SAT. I do the SAT. Personally, I would have rather send my SAT scores than write another essay. Yeah. But that's just nice. Probably submit the SAT scores. Yeah. Maybe do the essay just for uh, just for kicks.